Okay guys, this is an introduction to SafeFlow 2.0, which is an add-on of Blender for the design of sails. First things you have to do, if you want to design a sail of this boat that you own, which is Super Challenger 1966, it's just an example I took from internet. First of all, you have to install Blender if you don't have it. So you go to the webpage of Blender, which looks like this one, and blender.org, and you download the software, which is completely free. Once you've done that, you go to the web page of SafeFlow, which is safeflowwebly.com. This is the main page, which I'm going to update in the next day, so it will look like maybe something something different, and you download SafeFlow 2.0 in a folder of your choice. You open Blender, you end up in a screen like that one, you click on Edit and Preferences. You click on Add On and Install. Then you go to the directory where you you have download SafeFlow 2.0.zip and you click install add-on and as last you go and you click the checkbox to enable the add-on and that you have it okay this is your sail you have a luff of 6 meter and a base of 2.5 meter and the leech is 6.5 meter so you want to design the sail for it so you go to blender and you press Shift A, and uh, first you have to, okay. Shift A, and you go to this menu and you click Add Sale. You have the first sale. Please note that here on the left side, you do have a, a small box with a number of options of um, the design of the sale. Uh, first of all, you have the laugh length that we have already described in the previous drawing. Uh, you have a base length and see that the leech length is uh, disabled uh, because it's actually calculated is not given to the tools itself so let's go back and input the number we saw before which means six meter for the laugh and 2.5 meter for the base then you will see that automatically it is calculated that the leech length should be 6.5 meter i will put it in wide frame because it's what i like so it's z plus four and then I go to generate panels. Okay, generate panels as additional options. One is the adding of band to mast, leech and base, but also the panel width and the subdivision I want to have to the sail to have, let's say, more resolution when I design it. Five is a good number, between three and five should be okay. So let's put it down to four. Now, if we go back to the drawing, you will see that the cell we want to design actually has a small curvature in the leech side, as you see now uh, over the mouse. We need to measure how much this is, or at least we need to tell the tool how much we want for it. It is 40 centimeters from a straight line connecting the boom to the top of the mast, which is 0.4 meter divided by 6.5, which is the length of the leech, multiplied by 100, give me 6. And this is the percentage of the curvature for, for Blender. I go here, I click, I want to add a curvature to the leech of 6% at 50% of this length. And here you have it. And so we have the first uh, design of our sail that we still need to give a profile to. Let me introduce first what the NACA 4 is. This is the sail, and this is a maximum depth, which is called maximum camber in percentage of the cord, and this is a, the camber position, which is also percentage of the cord. Let's go back to our design, and we say that we want to have 10% of camber and a position which is 45%. The skirt, I will introduce in another video what it means, but let's say 100%, so it's completely open on the bottom. Okay, here we have our sail. Let's have a look using the middle mouse and moving the mouse to see how it looks like, and it looks like a good, a good shape. So I think we can start uh, making the panels that uh, we have now. To okay, this is the sail, and uh, we select it, and we go to edit mode. And here we see in red the seam of the panels and all the panels. To see the top, I, okay, we are already in wide frame, but to see the top, I use this menu. Okay, very well. I go to face select mode. I select a small triangle in the panel. I press Ctrl L to select the whole panel, and I go 
or try to enable screencast which is already enabled no, forget about this so we have selected the panels and now I want to develop the panel make the flat version of it that I have to cut in my say cloth and here we have it please note that here it says that we have a max stress in the textile of 1.1% which is extremely low meaning that the software has been able to flatten in the curved, serv uh, curved surface uh, without introducing any stress in the textile let's go back to edit mode and select the second panel the second panel I press ctrl L to select it all I develop the face again this time I see that I have 6.2 percent of stress in the textile now this is not at all a big number but maybe I want really to be sure that the, the shape is completely okay so I go back to edit mode, I reselect the panel and this time I run a stress release of 100 as a loop and a target of 2% as maximum stress and I press. As you see it took a bit longer but we have reached 3.3% which is lower than before and perfectly acceptable. So now I will have to do the same step for the next of the sale. Uh, if I don't want to do that then I will actually use the develop all uh, option so i select the sale i go to edit mode i press a to select everything and develop all and here i have it i go here i remove the eye from the sale just to take it from the view and here all my panel are ready okay now i need to print the panels how do i do first of all let me select one panel and uh, okay no not this one uh, the one below and move it away uh, with g i move it just low just to separate from the others and let's see uh, you have to use this print ascii to print a panel and first of all you have to input the step you want what does it mean the step the principle to draw a, a panel is having the say clothes and drawing on the say clothes lines every the step size like in this case <coughs> is 10 centimeter then you take the coordinate of dots that the tools will give you designing them on the say close then you make line through the dots and then you have your panel so how to make this a uh, coordinate how to get this coordinate okay use this lower part of the tool panel you put 10 centimeter in this case and you press show outline only what does it do? It creates this object with the dot that are going to be put in the files once the file will be made. This gives you an idea if you have enough dots to, to design the sale. Uh, if uh, the panel is particularly curved, you will need much more dots. In this case, it's pretty straight. So maybe 30 centimeter will do it, or even 40 centimeter will do it. Let's see. Let's print ASCII. Okay, the object is created. And I would say I do have enough dot to draw my panel on a say cloth very well so let's remove this let's remove this new object and press the panel and check show outline only at this time i have a file request there where i can input the file name let's see how the file name look like this is a text file which is the number of coordinate you see and you have this we have a couple of dot for every x and then you have the corners how do you do it in practice you take your sail clothes a piece of wood that you see here in this uh, drawing and these blue things which represent something like a nail or something which you can hold in, in place the wood you bend the wood that in a way that go through the dots so you have a smooth line and then you can draw a line using the wood as you see in the next slide and here you have it so the wood is just be made to have a smooth line uh, through the dots that's why you can have uh, fewer dots and you do also on the second line and on the sides not necessary probably and you put the tape on the top please note that the tape will be your seam allowance in fact in the next slide you will see that when I cut a panel the tape is included in the cut because I will use that at the end to overlap the two panels and stitch them together so 
In this way you can cut and design a full sale without having complicated plotters or any other professional tool. And that's the end of it guys. I hope you enjoy and you will enjoy the tool, most of it. And if you have problems, please write me an email that you will find on the website of SafeFlow. Bye everybody.